decide to this uh, for for this decision that the UAE cancels AM uh, SATU for grade 12 students. So the Ministry of Education, alongside the Ministry of Higher Education and Scientific Research, has just announced the immediate cancellation of the MSAT exam for 12th grade students, which means that MSAT will no longer be part of the higher education admission process. If we were a radio or a music show, you would hear bells <laughs> ringing. So instead of the MSATs, universities will set their own admission criteria based on the specific specializations students wish to pursue. This move aims to create a smoother transition into higher education, allowing students to focus on their passions and ambitions. Well, that's not all, because for those aspiring to enter medical and engineering programs, there's a new twist. Admission will now prioritize grades and science subjects rather than overall scores. Now, this shift ensures that students' strength in relevant subjects take center stage. The Ministry, uh, Minister of Education, Sarah al Amri shared her thoughts on this significant change, stating the decision is in line with our efforts to develop policies to evaluate students' performance during their academic stages. And as she said, this decision marks a pivotal movement for students and universities alike, of offering greater flexibility and a focus on individual strengths. Can I just say, like, first of all, I know as students will be rejoicing, but what I love so much about the UAE is they make quick changes. So I could look at the education system in a lot of countries mm -hmm. and it's archaic. And there's questions like, why are we still doing this? Because the government is not fast, not yeah. swift. In this case, a, a conversation that we'll jump into, people are saying, why am I doing these exams? Do they really have relevancy? And they just made this dramatic change and it makes yeah. sense for education. I agree with you because, you know, I have done the SATs and I was like thinking the whole time, why am I studying calculus? Why am I doing all of these things when I want to be a journalist? You know, I can like maybe do some English, um, you know, like exams. Yeah, for sure. Maybe some like writing exams. But what, how was that relevant to me? And it took a lot of my time. <laughs> I'm sure it did. Can you um, just, I didn't grow up with this education mm -hmm. system. So could you give me a rundown or anyone else yeah. similar to myself who doesn't know what the MSATs are? So technically after, uh, when you want to get to university, you need to have the um, MSATs and you need to have the IELTS. to get to the university admissions process. And that's exactly yeah, the American SAT as well. You need to have them all done. All of them? All of them. And of course, uh, the worst part is that you need to get like a good grade. So you need to study. Fair enough. <laughs> Even, <laughs> yeah, literally. Enough. I mean, yeah, <laughs> as you said, fair, fair enough. Uh, and uh, most of the time, like the MSATs and the American SATs, they are like math. They're calculus. Right. And it's like, why are we doing that? You know what I mean? Uh, if someone wants to be a doctor, they are more into the biology sector, right? And someone who, uh, who wants to be like a journalist like us, say we are more like focused on English. So you need to get there to SATs and then you need to do the um, IELTS to get through the university admissions process. After the MSATs. After the MSATs. And then after that, you know, you are, Or else, you know, they don't even let you graduate school mm -hmm. if you don't have those exams All of them. done. Okay. So, they, so students do that and they spend um, the rest of their grade 12 juggling between the exams, their, their regular exams and as well the MSATs, right? right? Okay. And then they have to do the IELTS and then all of them, they come together to go, go through the admissions process. And then, for example, like with Masa and I, we, I realized that we didn't need that at university. You didn't need we, we didn't need that. They well, didn't I, but the, that. the, you know, on the other side of it, people say there's a lot of things we could say we didn't need at university, but it's amazing that the UAE stepped in. But my question is, now they're saying that the universities will then uh, ask for criteria based on the course you're choosing. Mm -hmm. What about people who don't know what they want to do? I mean, like, you, don't, you don't, you're 17, that, like the world is your oyster. You could think you want to be a doctor, mm -hmm. but in fact, your skill set lies lay somewhere else. So is that, would there be a bit of a concern there that you're focusing on one yeah. thing when you're still not really sure? I mean, that is actually a very good question because um, what schools are doing right now is at grade 12, towards like the end, they, uh, ha they hold a lot of um, uh, workshops for students to know what they want and nice. where, they, uh, where, where they maybe shine better and maybe where they can exceed you know uh, now some students as well maybe who still don't know there are a lot of uh, 
teachers who can help with and helping the, the students navigate what they want. I remember when I was at school, I, I was lucky enough to know what I want to do, but some of my friends did not know what they would want to do, so they would have, they would navigate that through, um, of course, you know, the teachers. <laughs> um, 